Everybody's a suspect! Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different today. It's a product review. Now I don't do that, that many product reviews. I do get a lot of requests to do some product reviews, but I'm very selective when it comes to doing things like that because I want the products to reflect on the channel that I've got. And this is a horror channel, this is a movie channel and all about film and, and pictures. Um, today we'll be looking at this. This is the BenQ WITE reading lamp. And you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't really fit in with your channel at all. And at first, when I first got the request, um, I was like, well, it doesn't really fit in with the channel, but I couldn't be further from the truth. This lamp I actually use every single day. I'll mention everything why in a second. This is the box. I've already opened it. Um, it comes in all different colors. It comes in four different colors, in fact. Those are the four, and I've got the blue one. Uh, it's a very big box, but it's very thin as well. Um, now, this lamp I use for a number of things. I use it for my laptop, obviously, because I'm on my laptop every day. One thing that I started using it for was my NECA figures. When I'm photographing my NECA figures, any photographs you've seen recently of my NECA figures, uh, the lighting that I use is the lamp itself. Now, the lamp is on just now and it's facing my face. Um, so I actually use it for my video setup. Now, I've got my my lights at the side and stuff. Uh, I've not got any lights on at the back just now. Sometimes I do have. Um, but I use that light for my face because without it, it would be a little bit darker. So I use it for all my videos now. I use it for all my NECA figures and obviously I use it for reading on, on the laptop and doing my editing and stuff. So I use it for a lot of things. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to have to do the review. And when I get products to do reviews, I don't just get the product and review it online and that's it. I get it, I use it for a while to see if it is actually worth reviewing and then I do the review. This lamp is fantastic, um, like I said I use it all the time. It's definitely worth the money, I think it's around about $179.99. It, it might sound expensive but it does a lot of things. I'll, quick, I'll show you a quick uh, overview of the actual lamp itself, I'll take a few photographs and I'll show you in action as well. So this is the light on and all set up already. This is probably the best way that I can show the light, to be honest guys, so just bear with me. Uh, I've got it on the white setting just now, because that's the setting I always put it on. I like the more uh, white look rather than the warmer look. I like the cool look, so this is it on. Uh, I'll move it around so you can see, so. I can go up and down. All different kind of angles. So this button here, this changes the color to warm. So if you want it nice and warm, you want it kind of in between, or if you want it ice cold, like I do, then all you need to do is press it in. And when you press it in to whatever setting you're on, whatever colour you're on, then you can dim it. So you can put it up, you can put it down, whatever you want. So I tend to put it not, not up to the top, just kind of down a little bit. That's where I put mine. Um, always above my laptop as well, you can put it anywhere you want, depending on what you're doing with it. Obviously if I'm photographing my figures, then I'll change it about a bit. But that tends to be where I put it, in that exact spot right there. Um, it's very it's very sturdy, it's very heavy as well, the, the base, the base is a really solid unit. Uh, the pole thing itself goes on top of the base. Uh, it's hard to pull out once you've got it in for a while, but you just need to be careful if you're lifting it, don't lift it here. Don't lift it there, always lift it at the base because that's where it's its strongest and it's heaviest. This little touch thing here is pretty cool, when you touch this, it goes off, put it back on, touch it again, and the whole ring is touch sensitive so you can touch it anywhere you want and it'll go back on again. So it's very easy to use, very easy to turn on and off. Um, and I didn't think I would like something like this because it's just a basic light to me first. Um, but looking at it now, I think it's excellent. So that was just a quick peek at the lamp in motion. Something I forgot to mention as well is it's an eye care lamp. I don't know if it mentions that online, I'm not too sure, but it says it on the box itself. It's an eye care lamp. I wear glasses, believe it or not. Uh, I'm wearing contacts just now, so it's really good on your eyes at night because it doesn't have a lot of strain on your eyes when you've got the big lights on or anything like that. 
it helps your eyes when you when you're watching the screen or when you're doing things when you're editing so it really helps people with bad eyesight like myself um, but again guys I couldn't recommend this lamp enough if you do have a computer desk if you do editing if you do videos photographs anything like that I recommend picking it up I will leave a, a couple of links down below I'll leave a link to the BenQ website it gives you all the information that you need a lot more technical than what I've just told you today um, and I'll leave a link to the Amazon uh, page as well because they sell it on Amazon um, and that, that's it so that's the, the BenQ e-reading lamp. So thanks again BenQ for sending me this to review. Uh, again, I didn't think I was going to use it, but I use it every day. Before we go as well guys, leading on from this lamp is what's your lighting setup for your editing? process what's your lighting setup for your videos if you're a youtuber as well i tend to uh, struggle with the lighting in this room just now because it's a very small room as you can see and i'm struggling with the lighting setup at the moment uh, i'm trying all different things you'll probably notice that the lighting changes now and again because i'm trying to get the best lighting setup i've ordered a few more lights led lights colorful lights uh, just to see if it changes anything but leave your comments down below guys let me know your setup also obviously let me know what you think of this lamp as well and as always i'll see you soon Bye-bye.